Hey guys, Sarah here. Um, I figured I could do another little uh, video for you guys. Um, sorry that my voice isn't exactly uh, in the best shape. Um, but, uh, you know, I figure you guys deserve content. And I <laughs> don't want to you know, push through as much as I can to, to get it to you. But, um, Today I want to do, I've seen it go around a couple of times, uh, my <laughs> ungoth confessions. Um, I don't consider myself strictly a, a, in the gothic, um, uh, I guess culture. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit of uh, everything alternative. I do, you know, punk and, you know, a, a whole lot of uh, alternative things. But, um, <laughs> I figured it'd be kind of a fun thing to do. Um, so, the f <laughs> I will do ten. I thought of ten things that I can think of that um, I figured were a little bit of the uh, goth scene. Um, and the first one is is that I really like pink frilly things. I don't know why. Uh, I think it's because I don't. I don't really know. There's just there's there's something about like bright pink. I think it's because I played with Barbies when I was little, but I still do like the the bright pink stuff. I like like this this is my daughter's, and if I could wear it, I would <laughs> because it's just adorable. Actually, the shorts I have on are pink, um, but there's just something about them that I the pink frilly things that I like. like my uh, my lanyard for my uh, house keys is Hello Kitty. It's like this bright pink Hello Kitty lanyard and I love it. Um, the next one is, is that I actively listen to and sing along with J-pop and K-pop. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just I as much as much as I like uh, like the gothic and, and punk and alternative uh, music, um, there's just <laughs> I like the happy beats and um, <clears throat> you know like plus I'm kind of learning the language uh, well Japanese at least um, so I figure it's uh, it'll help <clears throat> you know help me uh, learn sentence stru structure and everything I can't even speak in English I don't know why I'm trying to learn different languages. Um, <laughs> third one is, and I don't know why I figured this would be out of the gothic uh, scene, I, I think it's m more of like a, uh, I don't, I don't really know, it just, it, it doesn't seem too, too gothy to me, but um, I would love to get a group and go LARPing. <laughs> I know, I'm a massive dork, but I, I think LARPing just sounds like fun. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Number four, if I could dress, and this is not all the time, I promise, it is not all the time, but if I could dress in Lolita or Decora fashions, if I could afford to dress in those fashions every once in a while, I would. <laughs> um, it it kind of goes along with the, the I like pink frilly things, uh, it's just, I, I think it would be a lot of fun to uh, <laughs> to to dress that style for you know a day or two, and then kind of just go back to to you know my normal style of dress. My hair is just not cooperating today. <laughs> uh, number five, I like coloring books, and I don't know if that's just I, I don't know. I feel like that that that. <laughs> Although, I did find one book <laughs> that, that kind of fits into to, to the, out of the goth subculture and in the sub the culture, and I found this. And I, if, if you, if you ever get a chance, you don't have to, to actually get it, but at least like flip through it, because it, it's absolutely hilarious. There's... <laughs> Um, one of my favorites of it is that there's this page, and it says it's the last thing that the bat saw when Ozzy did it settle. 
and it just it 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 makes me smile. <laughs> I love this book, and I don't have plans to fill it in at all because I, I want to keep it the way it is because it just it. But it, it it makes me laugh. It makes me smile so much. Um, next one, and I don't know if this is actually a, a, a just a, a stereotype or if this is actually kind of like something that everybody's in on that I'm not in on. <laughs> but the the drinking black coffee one, I don't really like black coffee, and two, I don't really drink coffee that often. I don't know why I've I've seen. Um, I've seen a few people say that that's not their thing and that it seems like a, a stereotype or a stigma of, of goth people that they drink black coffee all the time. But I don't, I don't, I'm not entirely sure so if it's actually not part of the, the thing please don't, don't yell at me in the comments but do tell me. <laughs> um, number seven is that I'm actually, I'm always terrified, the only, the only body modification that I have is this. This little lip piercing. <laughs> That's it. I am terrified to get tattoos. I am terrified to get piercings <laughs> because needles. <laughs> I think it's absolutely hilarious because I'm sitting here thinking out, you know, oh this would be a cool tattoo or this would be a cool tattoo or whatever and then like all these piercings that I want to get and it's all in my face that I want to get piercing. But it's not like everywhere. Like I want to get my eyebrow. I would love to have a septum. I want to get another. I might get like a half snake bite, half spider bite thing. Like the one on this side and then two very close on this side. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why it's all in my face that I want to get that done. But I have like, I want to get sleeves done. I want to get down my thighs done. <laughs> I have a hip piece that I'm drawing out. But I'm terrified to get them done. But um, there's that. Uh, number eight is that I. I want in as much as I want to travel and I want to go see the world and everything. When I get done seeing the world. I want to be able to have <coughs> a farm and I mean like a full-on I want to raise food I want to raise cows and sheep and pigs and horses and goats and not chickens fuck chickens <laughs> anyone who knows me personally knows I really I, I hate chickens I won't raise them <laughs> uh, number nine is that I don't the, the past few videos I've done, I've worn the white foundation, but as you can see from the amount of touching my face that I'm doing, I'm not wearing it today. Because I'm actually, I, I mean, I like it, I like its aesthetic, I like, you know, I like the, the white foundation. But on the other hand, I really don't, because it's, it's very difficult for me to, uh, to actually wear it, because I do touch my face a lot, and it makes my face itch which is horrible and every time I wear foundation my nose just starts itching like it's itching while I'm like talking about it which is horrible but um like it, it, it's got its pros and cons and <laughs> it's actually quite difficult <laughs> to, <laughs> to you know like lean over on someone or, or like even just hug someone <laughs> to me because it gets because you do it on your ears and down your neck and blend it so it doesn't look like you're, you know, putting on clown makeup. And then it just gets everywhere. <laughs> like my my poor sun hat has uh, in the in the the rim of it, <laughs> it has little white spots on either side. <laughs> oh, that poor hat. Um, and the last one is is that I enjoy. Uh, frilly kids movies and costumes and things like that like I absolutely adore the fact that my my kid likes watching you know like oh goodness there's so many but like like the frilly Disney princess movies and stuff like that and everything and that she has costumes and everything of it I just I think it's 
adorable and stuff. And I think that still goes in hand in hand with it. Like, the I like pink really things and, and the Lolita and Decora. But, um, anyways, there's my ten <laughs> ungoth confessions. Um, I will try to do, uh, short little videos, um, from tomorrow through Monday and then Tuesday I'll be able to do, like, longer videos or do something. <laughs> I'll do something. Um, but, um, <clears throat> there is my video for today. Zero out.